Hi, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to Crime Busters 101. I post solved and unsolved and crime-related topic on a weekly basis and also true crime and murder documentaries, so if that's something that might interest you, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Every case is unique and will have you on the edge of your seat, so enjoy the videos and remember viewer discretion is advised on all my videos and if you are commenting, please be kind. Thank you, stay safe, this is the case of the death of a superstar. How exactly did Michael Jackson die and 35 interesting facts about Michael Jackson, height, weight, how he died and more. Always in the spotlight, Michael Jackson was the star whose electric career captivated audiences and garnered fanatically loyal fans across the globe. Yet his later years were mired in controversy with failed marriages, rumors of health problems, and even accusations of child molestation. Following his death at age 50, news of Michael Jackson's death dominated media around the globe. Fans were out in the streets and tributes poured in from celebrities and politicians like Barack Obama and Nelson Mandela. Yet with the grief came questions about the star's final days. The circumstances were murky and people were left wondering how exactly did Michael Jackson die. Let's take a look at a few of the key events that led up to the star's fateful death, noting how old Michael Jackson was when he died and when exactly when it was Michael Jackson died. How did Michael Jackson die? On June 25th, 2009 Michael Jackson died of a cardiac arrest at the age of 50 as a result of a deadly cocktail of sedatives and an aesthetic, propofol, which was administered by his physician, Conrad Murray. It was later concluded the death was a homicide and Murray was charged with involuntary manslaughter in November 2011. Yet the story of Michael's death has its roots in the pop star's deteriorating health over the last 20 years of his life. It is claimed he suffered from an eating disorder, stress, insomnia, and notably, a reliance on prescription medication. It was this last fact that was said to play a key role in the events culminating in the death of Michael Jackson when he was rushed to the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center on that fateful day. The day before, the 24th of June saw Michael in rehearsals for his final This Is It Comeback tour. Nothing seemed to miss that day at the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, with fellow performers stating that he seemed on top form. The rehearsal even went on past midnight and afterward, though afterward Jackson still found the time to greet fans that gathered outside the gate of his residence on North Carrollwood Drive in the Holmby Hills. Problems began when, after arriving home, he complained of fatigue and insomnia. The morning of June 25th, Michael Jackson's physician, Conrad Murray, administered the star a series of drugs over the course of the early hours to help him sleep. Concern was raised later when Michael failed to leave his room. The afternoon of June 25th, Murray found the star unresponsive and no longer breathing, though he claimed he still had a weak pulse. He attempted to revive Jackson, though statements have questioned his CPR technique and the fact he chose to do it on a soft bed rather than a hard surface. Questions also arose regarding the time it took Murray to get help. Notably, there was no landline phone in the residence and Murray stated he didn't know the address well enough to call paramedics by mobile. As a result, 30 minutes passed before security at the North Carrollwood Drive property eventually made the call to paramedics. Emergency services performed CPR there for 42 minutes before rushing Jackson to the hospital. Here, emergency services attempted to resuscitate Jackson. After over an hour, the star was pronounced dead. Michael Jackson died at 2.26 p.m. on the afternoon of June 25th. 2009 at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. How old was Michael Jackson when he died? Jackson was 50 years old at the time of death. Autopsy and subsequent investigation, the Los Angeles County Coroner determined that Jackson's death was a homicide as a result of combined drug intoxication. The toxicology report suggested the most important drug found was propofol, an aesthetic associated with cardiac arrest. However, lidocaine, ephedrine, and lorazepam were also found within Jackson's system. The finding relates to broader questions regarding Jackson's health and history of drug use during his later years. 
Following his death, police found drugs in his home, including some made out to false names. Statements were also made by family members, former doctors, and associates expressing concern over Michael's weight and continued use of prescription medication. The finding that Jackson died of a propofol overdose led to Conrad Murray being charged with involuntary manslaughter on February 8, 2010. The physician was sentenced to four years in jail over his role in Jackson's death. However, he was released in only two as a result of good behavior. His license to practice medicine in California remains suspended. The broader reaction to the superstar's death was considerable. There was a widespread outpouring of grief from fans and celebrities across the world and groups gathered outside the gates of his Neverland Ranch and hometown of Gary, Indiana. No less than Barack Obama stated later that the star would go down in history as one of our greatest entertainers. 35 Interesting Facts About Michael Jackson, Height, Weight, How He Died, and More Despite being gone for over a decade, Michael Jackson is still one of the most famous pop singers and entertainers of all time. He is known as the creator of some of the world's biggest hits like Beat It, Billie Jean, and Thriller. Believe it or not, many people are still searching online for information about the singer, everything from Michael Jackson's height to his shoe size. What year was Michael Jackson born? Michael Jackson was born on August 29, 1958. Where is Michael Jackson from? Michael Jackson is from Gary, Indiana. Michael Jackson Height According to the official autopsy report, Michael Jackson was 5'4'9 tall when he died. This is considered to be the most accurate measure of his height, as he occasionally would wear shoes with a bit of a heel which would make him appear taller to fans. As a child, Michael Jackson had worn his hair in an afro, making him look taller. But in 1984, his hair and scalp caught fire during the filming of a Pepsi commercial, causing the celebrity to have permanent hair loss. After the accident, Jackson often wore a black wig in public. He also got tattoos near the edges of his hairline to conceal his balding. Michael Jackson wasn't considerably short, however, he wasn't tall either. He stood at 5 foot 9, which is the average height for an American man. Jackson is still taller than many famous artists such as Justin Bieber who was reportedly just 5 foot 8. He also was 9 and half in shoe size. How did Michael Jackson die? Michael Jackson died from overdosing on a combination of sedatives and prescribed medication. Jackson's in-home doctor, Conrad Murray, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. How old was Michael Jackson when he died? Michael Jackson was 50 years old when he died, which may seem young, but when you watch the video of him practicing for his tour, which was supposed to start later in 2009, it's easy to see that the singer was not well. Although he had always been skinny, he seemed to be even skinnier than normal, sweating and breathing with difficulty at even the simplest dance moves. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that the singer died of cardiac arrest. Pair this with the fact that he was prescribed drugs that were at too high of a dosage for him, and you have the perfect combination for premature death. The drugs found in the artist's body when he died were propofol, anxiolytic lorazepam, midazolam, diazepam, lidocaine, and ephedrine. If this sounds like a lot of drugs, it's because it is. The doctor who prescribed all these drugs to Michael Jackson was later found guilty of manslaughter and served two of the four years he was sentenced to. But many feel that justice was not served. Unfortunately, there is no way to bring Michael Jackson back from the grave. If the singer had not died in 2009, he would be 64 years old in the year 2022. How tall was Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson was about 5 foot 9 inches tall, which is crazy when you consider the artist weighed in at 132 pounds at the time of his death in 2009. Therefore, Michael Jackson wasn't short at all, simply average in height. The same can't be said about his music. Many fans assumed he was taller, likely because they were always watching him perform at a stage that was situated high above eye level. 
He also sometimes wore specific shoes, which he called beetle boots that gave him an extra inch or two of height. He denied ever wearing lifts in his shoes, which makes sense, as lifts would likely make it quite difficult for the artist to perform his famous moonwalk and other dance moves. Therefore, it is likely the beetle boots the fans were thinking of when they accused him of wearing lists. At least he was taller than fellow musician Prince, who was only 5 feet 3 inches, though he often lied and said he was 5 foot 6 inches because he was ashamed of his short stature. Michael Jackson Weight at the time of his death, the autopsy report listed that Michael Jackson's weight was 132 pounds, which is actually in the normal range for his height. Many speculate, however, that he weighed much less than that during the late 1990s and 2000s. Although the artist had always been quite skinny, he listed his weight on his driver's license as 120 pounds in the 1980s. He only seemed to get thinner in the years approaching his death. This is likely due to the cocktail combination of drugs his in-home doctor has prescribed to him. Additionally, the artist faced a lot of stress due to legal troubles, body image issues, and financial problems. There was much speculation when he died regarding his diet. His publicist came forward and indicated that Jackson consumed a lot of turkey burgers, Chinese food, and vegetables. Even though he did avoid red meat, the artist was not a vegetarian, as many fans speculated. There have been reports that the famous singer and songwriter got down to 112 pounds at some point during his adult lifetime. These claims have not been confirmed, however, nor has it been confirmed that the artist actually did weigh 120 pounds when he received his driver's license. Most people underestimate slash understate their weight, so it is highly likely that Michael Jackson was around a healthy 130 pounds for his entire adult life. His death broke internet. On June 25, 2009, several websites across the net all crashed at the same time at approximately 3.15 p.m. Jackson's daughter claimed her father was murdered. Jackson's daughter, Paris, claimed that her father's doctor at the time of his death murdered him, casting doubt on the professionalism of Conrad Murray. Michael Jackson's Net Worth Estimating Michael Jackson's net worth is difficult because the star is no longer alive. While he was alive, he made about $500 million over the course of his lifetime. About $100 million came from his own music, while the rest came from his portfolio of other artists' songs, most notably the Beatles. But the reality is, despite being famous, the singer had a terrible overspending problem, thus he was actually in debt when he died. Many estimate that his net worth at the time of his death in 2009 was almost $500 million, but that the debts he owed were over $500 million, meaning he died broke. He got here by routinely overspending what he was making. Experts guess he was spending between $30 million and $50 million every year on his lifestyle alone. Then there were his legal troubles. Lawyers aren't cheap, especially with the types of allegations Michael Jackson was facing. Add in the purchase of Neverland, which cost $17 million, $65 million on a video project, and a $12 million divorce settlement, and it's easy to see how the artist got in the hole. Following his death, the executors of his estate did their best to bring Michael's net worth back into the green. They accomplished this by creating the This Is It film, which grossed $500 million, as well as by selling the rights to Michael's image and future music. As of the writing of this article, Michael Jackson's estate has netted hundreds of millions of dollars. After settling all debt and buying back the rights to Jackson's music, the estate is said to be worth over $2.4 billion. This makes Michael Jackson the richest non-living person to date. He had a little brother. While the Jackson family is very well known, many people do not know that Michael's brother Marlon had a twin brother. Brandon ended up passing away not even one day after he was born. Favorite type of takeout food Michael's favorite type of food was Mexican food. Racking up the fines. It has been rumored that Jackson racked up $1 million in library fines due to checking out books and not bringing them back. 
Michael Jackson's home sold for less than it should have. In 2015, Neverland Ranch was listed for $100 million and was then discounted more than once until 2019 when Pittsburgh Penguins co-owner bought the estate for $22 million. That's $78 million less than the initial price. Ouch! Pinocchio was his favorite Disney character. Michael's favorite cartoon character is Pinocchio. Married his dermatologist's nurse. Michael was married to Lisa Marie Presley, who was the daughter of Elvis Presley. But he also had married the nurse working in his dermatologist's office. Fearful of father. We learned that Michael's dad would beat him with a belt if he made errors while performing in the Jackson 5 as a child. He became very afraid of him. Michael loved llamas. Jackson's loved his pet llamas, Louis and Lola. He loved them so much that he often took them to his recording studio in L.A. Publicity photo of the Jackson 5 on the premiere of the Sunny and Cher Comedy Hour. Photo by CBS Television. Cheap Costumes. Jackson's costumes from his Thriller music video were purchased from second-hand stores. Amazing 9-11 Story. Jackson was supposed to attend a meeting at the World Trade Center on September 11th, but he ended up not attending because he overslept, causing him to miss his flight. Dreamt of being Spider-Man. MJ had always wanted to play the role of Spider-Man. Jackson even attempted to buy Marvel Comics after they filed for bankruptcy, thinking he could then cast himself to play the character on film. Jackson also auditioned for the role of the character, Professor X from X-Men. He set multiple Guinness World Records. Michael has set an unprecedented 39 Guinness World Records. He was also inducted into the Dancing Hall of Fame and Songwriters Hall of Fame. This makes him the most awarded artist to this date with 800 plus awards. Left his father out of his will. After Michael's death, it was revealed that his estate was to be given to his mother and his children and left nothing behind for his father. He lived in a two-bedroom house. Jackson grew up in a little two-bedroom house in Gary, Indiana. He shared this house, and most likely one single bathroom, with eight of his siblings. Michael Jackson did karate. At the time of his death, he had a black belt in karate which he was awarded in the late 1990s in Japan. He sold out the Wembley Stadium seven times. The demand was such that he could have sold it 20 times in a row, but his schedule intervened, meaning he had to pick only seven dates to perform. He has a moon crater named after him. The crater was previously called Posidonis J, but we suspect the crater likes its new name much better. He was cast to play Peter Pan. As a performer with Peter Pan syndrome, or the desire to always be young, you may be surprised to find out Jackson actually turned down playing Peter Pan in the 1991 movie Hook. He simply felt his vision did not match what the director was looking for. One of his albums is the best-selling of all time. His Thriller album is the best-selling album of all time, selling over 66 million copies worldwide. Now the number stands over 100 million. He's been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Jackson was twice nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize for his humanitarian work, first in 1998 and again in 2003. Michael Jackson was charitable. Jackson is considered the most charitable artist as he gave over $500 million to charity. He often gave without much fanfare so the actual amount may be even more. He has billions of fans. The number of his fans is considered 4.8 billion since the time he first performed on stage when he was five years old. His funeral was the second most watched of all time. His funeral was the second most watched funeral as it was watched by 2.4 billion PPL all over the world, which is almost half of the population. The only person whose funeral had more watchers was Princess Diana's. He once had a pet monkey. No, really, it's true, and his name was Bubbles. Many other artists are inspired by him. Beyonce, Justin Bieber, 
The Weeknd, and so many other artists claimed that they were inspired to sing by Michael Jackson. And honestly, who wouldn't be inspired by the man who is still such a legend even in death? Thank you for watching Crime Busters 101. I post solved and unsolved and crime-related topic on a weekly basis, so if that's something that you are interested in, please subscribe and hit that notification button.